Thank you, Ken Corlin. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to raise this issue. At the outset, uh, I want to thank Minister of Chambers' office for coming back to me to say that he couldn't be here because he's in committee. However, I'm not at all happy that none of the other two ministers in the Department of Communications uh, could come into the House to respond to this. Ken Corlin, we're facing the potential closure of the post office in the square in Roscommon Town following the decision by Ampost to tender the services out to a contractor. This is the very first instance where Ampost is attempting to downgrade the status of one of its own post offices in a county town. While this will come as a blow to the dedicated staff in the post office, there is also a risk that the new contractor will no longer use the existing building, which could see the service moved elsewhere in the town potentially outside the town centre. And this is after close to nearly 15 million euro of, of a government investment under the Urban uh, Regeneration and Development Fund and associated funds, which have been primarily focused on the town centre in Roscommon. While I have been reassured by Ampost that there is no threat to the existing services provided, the loss of a state-owned service in uh, the county town will, I believe, impede the potential expansion of services in the longer term. It should also be noted that even in Ampost's darkest hour, when the company was within a number of weeks of financial collapse in 2017, it was never contemplated that the company would dispose of any of its 50 hub post offices that it owned around the country. These were seen at that time as strategic premises. So if that was so, why not so today with a company on a healthy financial tra tra trajectory? Its 2022 accounts show an earnings before interest tax depreciation and repayments, which is up 15% year on year to 18.6 million euro. During my term as minister, I developed a strategy with OnPost to protect it from financial collapse and to use the OnPost owned post office network, such as the one in Roscommon Town, as a focal point for the development of banking services and other government services. This would have resulted in the expansion of the range of services in Roscommon Post Office, as well as the use of additional space in the building for new state-supported services. This included redesigning Roscommon Post Office as a one-stop shop for all government services, for those who did not wish to use online services, including motor tax, driving licences and passports. Roscommon Post Office was also to be expanded to develop a community banking service to provide an alternative to the existing banks and to support the development of banking services in our smaller sub-post offices throughout County Roscommon. As I say, this uh, was uh, key to the plan. Key to the plan was the retention of the ownership and control of the existing on-post post offices in the 50 locations around the country, including Roscommon Town. Sadly, these plans were not fulfilled by government, and it now seems that OnPost is set to relinquish direct control of such services, which is likely to undermine the future plans for such services in Roscommon Town. As you know, Minister, in the intervening years, I have strongly advocated for the delivery of new government services through the post office network, but this has failed to materialise. I have also strongly advocated for the establishment of, of a state bank incorporating the uh, Ireland Strategic Investment Fund and the Strategic Banking Corporation of Ireland to offer low interest rates uh, to support both businesses and communities. And such a bank could also provide green finance to homeowners, landlords and businesses to invest in a sustainable future. Minister. Thank um, you, Deputy Nott. And I welcome the opportunity to outline the position on, on this matter today on behalf of Ministers Ryan and Chambers. Um, Post is a commercial state company with a mandate to act commercially and as such day-to-day -day operational matters, including decisions in relation to the size, distribution and future of the network, are matters for the board and the management of the company and not ones in which Minister Ryan has a statutory function. However, both Minister Ryan and Minister of State Jack Chambers are both very aware of the impact that decisions relating to changes in on-post operations have on communities and individuals in both rural and urban areas. The Department will engage with on-post to outline and highlight the concerns which have been raised by staff, customers and the wider community. 
As you have outlined in line with its ongoing transformation, UnPost announced last week that it proposes converting six post offices from an UnPost run uh, to contractor run, one of which is the Ross Common Town office. Less than 40 post offices out of a total of 900 across the state are now run directly by UnPost. UnPost has outlined that the change in business model of the six offices will not in any way change the range or extent of the services offered by UnPost in those selected locations, and the company remains committed to providing each area with the highest level of services for the future. UnPost has advised that staff employed at the post offices in question will have options including taking up the employment as a new postmaster or being redeployed within the network. Government's objectives for the UnPost network include harnessing the opportunities presented by e-commerce and the digital economy and delivering a sustainable nationwide post office network at the heart of communities, offering a range of e-commerce, financial and government services. The government agreed that an amount of €10 million Euro per annum will be provided by the Department of Environment, Climate and Communications over a three-year fixed term, 23 to 2025, to support the postmasters with funding to be dispersed across the post office network. The funding has been paid monthly for each 12-month period and there has been over €9.7 million Euro claimed by UnPost for 2023 uh, for the Postmaster Network. The Programme for Government recognises that a modernised post office network will provide a better range of financial services and e-commerce services for citizens and enterprise as part of our commitment to a sustainable nationwide post office network. The overall €30 million Euro funding being provided to support a sustainable nationwide post office network is in line with this commitment. Thank you. Minister, Deputy Nacht. Minister, the difficulty is that Roscommon Town will be the only county town in Ireland without a non-post owned post office if this measure goes ahead. Now, disappointingly, the type of support that is needed for on post to develop its own post office network with new services has not been court forthcoming to date from government despite a cabinet commitment to deliver that. This is at least in part resulting in the threat to the status of this post office in Roscommon Town and in fact the transition of the ownership of all of these iconic buildings and their services into private control. Minister, all of the public representatives from every party and none are at one when it comes to our call for on post to abandon its plan to alter the status of post offices that it owns in our county towns and in particular in Roscommon Town. Minister, we want to see the post office in Roscommon Town retained in its current location uh, and, in, uh, and its current ownership and operation and in fact see the building expanded and refurbished to meet the growing needs of the local community and minister to mirror the significant public funds that have already been invested in Roscommon Town by this government and the last government and it makes absolutely no sense that we're investing public money to improve the town of Roscommon and at the same time we have a semi-state company withdrawing its own investment from that town. Thank you. Minister. I appreciate the Deputy's uh, passionate advocacy for the, the, the retention of, of the situation with the post office in Roscommon Town. Uh, I would reiterate on post has outlined that the change in business model of the six offices that I've mentioned, including Roscommon, will not in any way change the range or extent of the services offered by Unpost in those selected locations, uh, and the company remains committed to providing each area with the highest level of services for the future. Minister Ryan and Minister Chambers uh, with department officials will reflect on the concerns outlined today to Unpost regarding their announcement, and I'll convey the level of passion that uh, you expressed here today to Minister Ryan directly.